Hi there, everybody, and welcome to The Edge, the show where we talk about what gives the progressive self-defense method an edge over other self-defense systems. And today, we're gonna to be talking about how to block a punch. Okay, so in any good self-defense school, they're going to talk to you about how to deal with the single most common punch, which is a circular punch coming to the side of the head, which looks like this. Now, whether you're studying karate or Krav Maga, almost every self-defense school will teach some variation of what is called the 360 block, which looks something like this. If they throw the punch, and I'm here. And usually we get what we call a block and return. So they'll throw this punch here and then I'll return a punch. Sometimes they'll be simultaneous, then I'll be here like this, and you'll see this extension of the hand. I have a few problems with this punch, uh, with this block. Now don't get me wrong, this block can absolutely work as long as your opponent is your size or smaller. The problem is when your opponent is bigger, larger, and more powerful than you, one of two things happen. It's either one, your structure isn't sound, so you don't do it perfectly, and as the punch comes in, it collapses through and hits you. And that's a mistake on the practitioner. But if he is considerably larger than you, say he weighs 250 and you weigh 130, what happens when you do this 360 block is that when the power comes in, it actually moves you. So you don't get hit, but then you're off base and unable to uh, put out a counter attack. My other major issue with this 360 blocking method is that it keeps me in punching range. When it comes to a self-defense scenario, we basically have two options. We're all the way out or we're all the way in. Anywhere else, we're open for a big punch to the face, pow. And so the problem here is when he throws this punch and I block with a 360 here, I'm still in punching range so he can throw another punch and then I have to block, I block, I block. Even if I'm doing a counter punch simultaneously, we still may be in a position where we're exchanging punches. And what I wanna do is I wanna shut down that process. So the way that we do that is with three basic steps. We're going to utilize a superior block, superior movement, and then a superior attack. So the usual method is that I stay relatively where I am, he throws the punch, I do a 360 block, and then I return a punch. The problem with a punch is a punch works great for people who are your size or smaller. But the truth is someone who is 130 is probably not going to knock out somebody who is 250. So let's look at how we can make this entire process better. So for starters, with this 360 block, I have to know which way he's coming at my head to match the angle. Because if he comes at me with more of a bolo punch, I may come here to block and then it still comes through and hits because I have to figure out where it's at. So instead we're gonna use what's called the shield block. And it's a really simple concept. I'm just protecting my temple with my forearm and my bicep, I'm using uh, protecting my jaw with my bicep. So he throws in the punch here and I hear boom. And the beauty of this punch is he can come in with like a bolo shot or he can come in with the overhead and it, it covers it equally. But I also don't want to just stand here and take the force because that will still give me the same problem that we have with the lighter opponent where the person gets moved. So as he moves in to hit me, I move in as well. This way I'm avoiding any kind of shot coming to me. And finally, we were talking about that punch and how a smaller person usually is not capable of knocking out a larger person. So when this comes in to hit, I'm here and then my fingertips go into the eyeballs. That is immediately like an off trigger on most people's body. Um, so whenever we're talking about this, like I said, you'll see 101 martial arts systems teach this 360 block. But if you think about boxing or kickboxing or UFC or almost any actual combat sport where people are actually getting hit, you'll be hard pressed to find many people throwing this 360 block. But same thing, boxing, kickboxing, UFC, um, they all utilize something similar to a shield block. It may be modified due to where their glove is. And But the beauty of this technique is it's simple and it's safe and it keeps you away from having to deal with this and then and then and then where he throws several punches at me. So one more time, he's gonna throw the punch here, boom, that strikes the eye, 
that's the end of the fight. So as you can see, there's a pretty big difference between the way most self-defense systems teach how to block a punch and retaliate versus what the progressive self-defense method teaches. The benefit of our method is that it keeps you safe, it blocks more angles of attack, and it also offers you a quicker and more devastating way to finish the fight. At the end of the day, all you have to do is ask yourself, how often have I seen a boxer block like this? If a boxer doesn't block like this, why would you trust anybody else? Boxers are the people who deal with punches more than anybody else. And at the end of the day, when a punch comes to the side of a boxer's head, he does one of two things. Either he moves or he covers. So until next time, I'm Michael V, and this is Big Mike. Fight on. Hi there guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in training with me here in Indy, all the information you need to get started is now on our website, theschoolofselfdefense.com. We have our schedule, we have our location, our pricing, and even ways to contact me personally, so be sure to check it out. Also, be sure to check us out on Twitter and Facebook, because we're on that as well. So, if you like these videos, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Every little bit helps us grow, and we can't grow without you. So, here's hoping to train with you guys soon.